Okay, so we have a bowl of black crab here already thin. So like I said earlier, we're gonna put some vinegar on these. Pour the vinegar on that. And then we're gonna pour lime juice on it. Okay, um, I have one hand. Okay, so now we're gonna pour the lime juice over it. And this is our cleaning process. All right, remember I said you can get a toothbrush to help you scrub. And here's my crabby toothbrush. I call this my crabby toothbrush, where I scrub my crabs and stuff. So once the vinegar and the wool, you know, soaks through with the lime juice, I get to scrubbing the crabs. So I give them a nice scrub. Um, so you kind of look at the crab and then you know exactly what you have to do with it okay now there is a there is two types of crab there is a male this is the male here it has the smaller testicles right here this is that what you call it right <laughs> and then you have the female so usually people when they ask for crab they'll be like i want more females than male because the free female has more flavor to it all right, so all of this, we're going to get all this and open it up and scrub it out and take out all the fat. The fat in the body is what we actually use. And this right here, you have to make sure to scrape this out. This is like when the crab lost her egg and you, or when you get a cut and you know it closed, you know, you get the scalp. You call it the scalp on top of it. So this is what you do. You take this out. A lot of people leave it in. I don't know how or why. But you have to scrape this out. This is all in the process of cleaning the crab. Okay? And then you want to get between these biters really good. And make sure they're clean. So make sure to get in there. Open it up. You want to break the end of it so when you're cooking it, you have enough flavor flow through it. So we're going to let it soak right here in the vinegar and lime juice for about 5 minutes before I get to scrubbing. Like I said, I'm going to scrub and dig all of this out and then when I get back to the process so where I'm gonna open up the crab see they're filthy they live in the wild land so you have to be very careful when you're preparing these for people you want to make sure it's properly clean 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 so when I'm finished cleaning this then there's another process of cleaning where I scald it off with hot water and lime again after I scald that off then it's good to go for cooking and that is where I would um, start the process of cooking it. But they're going to soak right in here for about five minutes. Until we get, look at the water, it's changing already. Um, so we can soak all that dirt off. And my job can be a little, little bit easier with Mr. Krabby Toothbrush. Okay.